Good morning viewers, it's me here again, Ruby's Life in Oregon. So today, ipapakita ko sa inyo kung ano yung mga tanim ko na bulaklak. But um, I don't remember the name of, every, in, of each plant that I have. But I will try my best to, to remember. So, medyo makulimlim yung ating panahon today. So, it's nice to be outside. And I think the temperature right now is around 60 degree Fahrenheit. So, maaga pa lang guys. So, okay. Mag-umpisa tayo in this area. Ito yung peppermint na tinanim ko early spring. Or so, preg fragrant. Masyado siyang mabango at ginagamit ko ito if I make uh, lemonade. Ito naman, rosemary. I use this sometimes for grilling fish or meat grill. Ito masarap to. Okay, let's go here. Um, I think this one is Coolios and this one is and I think if I'm not mistaken this one is Bacopa white the same with that one right there and this one is my mom's I, I have this mom's for I think three years now in this container kind of Lily, may bulaklak na siya. Ito naman ay Mom's Den. Marigold. Elephant Ear. Tsaka may ano yan. Um, nakalimutan ko yung pangalan ng plants na yan. And this one, Strawberry. I have three strawberry in this container, three strawberry plant. Okay, balik tayo dito guys. Um, sasabihin ko lang sa inyo yung kung anong ginagawa ko para dumami yung mga tanim ko, yung ibang tanim ko. Um, itong tanim na to, ito ay mums. At um, ang ginagawa ko ay pinuputol ko yung, yung mat, fully matured na siya na... na um, branch and then kinakat ko yan may, may alam nyo kung matured yung branch kasi mas ano siya matigas and um, kinakat ko yan tapos nilalagay ko sa sa dirt yung sa paso lagyan mo ng ano yung pating mix or pating soil yan tapos ano na yan tutubo na yan siya ng in 2 to 3 weeks so I did mine usually every um, early spring so in summer time mas ano siya mas madali siyang lalaki kasi mainit nga so ayan ito tsaka yan I think they came from one cutting so yan so dadami yung mga tanim nyo at tsaka moms they are perennial that means they will come back every year so yan thumbs up yan Ayan yata, Irish yata yun. Siya, okay. Ito yung elephant ear. Now I'm in this other side. At ito yung sunflower ko na tinanim ko from seeds. Sunflower. Saka ito yung marigold. Ayan dalawa. Saka ito naman is kana banana. Malaki ito, mas malaki ito kaysa dung, yung sa isa pinakita ko sa inyo. And um, I have this one last year. And what I did, <clears throat> I dug the tubers and then keep it in the basement with um, like squinting soil and then just stored it in the paper bag. And then um, when spring, early spring come, um, I planted on the ground. So ito na yun. This is my second year of growing this kana banana. Ito yung isang sunflower natin. At in this 
area naman. Mayroon tayong um, sunflower. Ito sunflower din from seeds. And I forgot the name of this plant. But I have this plant um, two years ago din. Tapos kin nagkakat lang ako. Tapos tinatanim ko kung kahit saan saan. Madali lang siyang madali lang siyang um, patubuin ito naman nakalimutan ko kung anong pangalan nito but we'll see what kind of um, flower it will produce so ayan I plant this start from seeds din okay, dito sunflower ayan yung um, mums see ayan that's from cutting and mom's right there sunflower alam ayan din mom's mom's din yan at ito naman dito um, black eyed susan ang tawag sa tanim na to they will um, reseed itself so pag um, this one here um, this one last year plants tapos yung mga ano niya liso eh, tumutubo bumabalik and they are perennial as well and another zenia this one is zenia from seeds ito yung banana ko na binigay sa akin ng aking kaibigan ngayon malaki na siya at tingnan nyo nangyari last week or two weeks ago we have a very we had a very um, warm weather I think it um, reached 98 or 99 at ito yung nangyari sa dahon but it's okay marami pa ding dahon na bagong tubo bagong sibo naman yung mga pups baby bananas yan costas ito pitunia yata ay periwinkle they produce purple flower Ina yung naman ito dito. Some flower already. Ba, tingnan nyo. Ayan. Ito yung resulta pag masyadong mainit. And this kind of plant, they love to be in under the shade. But sometimes this area, naaarawan ito ng 3, I think, full sun, 3 hours. So, if you're planning to plant hostas, any varieties of hostas, I think they prefer shade area. So, keep keep it in mind. Tingnan nyo naman, kawawa naman. Ang laki ng dahon na to, early spring. Ito ay perennial din, so bumabalik at ito every year. Ito ay pitunia. At kaya maraming puti yan kasi I sprayed yesterday kasi I noticed that I think caterpillars start eating my flowers kaya if you notice any bites like this see yan, gawa yan ng caterpillar yung parang white na, white na butterfly na lumilipad sa iyong garden yan yung nagdadala ng mga um, caterpillar eggs yung moth moth, moth yata yun ito naman dito tawag nito pan fancy plants and I plant this start from seeds din so anyway medyo mahaba na itong aking video so I'm gonna make another part 2 of my garden tour 